Let's take a look at Layout It Grid, an interactive CSS grid generator. We have a mockup of a photos app in Scalidro. The main content is a stream of photos and the people that appear in them. There is a config sidebar, a header, and a footer. To create this layout using CSS grid, we will need a 3x3 grid to accommodate all the areas. So let's open Layout It Grid to generate the CSS and HTML needed for this design. We get a container that has the display property set to grid. Next, grid template columns and grid template rows have a list of track sizes, defining the number of columns and rows in the layout. Right now, there are four columns and three rows. Let's remove one column. So we start with a three by three grid. Let's change the first column size to be 20%. And we can leave the other two columns to be one fraction of the remaining space. We can also drag the lines in the editor to change the track sizes. And we can edit the value here too. The gap property allows us to specify the spacing between tracks. Let's use 2EM for spacing between rows and 2EM for the spacing between columns. In grid template areas, there is a 3x3 matrix of dots, each representing an empty cell. We create new areas by selecting a range of cells in the editor and naming it. Notice that when we added the header, a div appeared in the HTML. Later, you will be able to add the header's content inside this element. In the CSS, we give the area a name using the grid area property. We are using the same name as the class name but you could also use a different one. In the grid template areas, we see that the header is going to span across all the cells in the upper row. As we continue to draw the rest of the layout, you can see how the code changes in real time. We now have the header, the footer, the config sidebar, and the main content, the photos and the people. And we are done. We can copy the code to the clipboard or create a code pen with this design. The tool also supports defining the placement of the areas using line numbers. In this case, areas don't need to be named because we use the line numbers to define the row start, call start, row end, and called end for each area. We can also name lines so we get more descriptive names. You could also nest grids to generate the layouts inside the areas. And the tool also supports dark mode if you prefer that. And that's it. While you're generating your layouts, the tool brings the code to the forefront, exposing you to these CSS grid concepts. So, Go over to grid.layoutit.com and learn while you draw the design for your next app.